Hey guys, I, I thought long and hard about sharing this part of my life with you. Um, and I've shared a lot, you know. I'm the person who has a lot of, of stuff out there about my life. But um, today I was coaching somebody and, and they were talking and they were being vulnerable and they were talking about what they've been through for the year. And I shared this with them and um, it really helped her get through what she was going through and she could relate, it was relatable. A lot of you don't know this about me, but last year at this time, this month of November, I went through one of the most difficult challenges in my life. And I hear you say, but Ava, you've been through so much, you know, you've been through rape and you've been through gunpoint and you've been through, you know, homelessness. Yes, I've been through a lot, but I've gotten to the point where I thought my sorrows were over. What am I talking about? I was married last year this time and I thought my marriage was relatively okay because marriages are never okay. It needed work. But I got to the point where I suddenly found myself a single woman, unmarried. Married just got up and overnight, in two days, was dissolved. And I was shocked because that carpet was dragged from under my feet. And, you know, it's not a case that I'm saying, okay, it shouldn't happen, but it's a case that I wasn't prepared. It took me by surprise. And for days, for five days, I didn't have a shower. I stank in my house. My children probably just didn't know where their mom was. I became a zombie. But when you are committed to serve others, you have to push through the pain. You see, trailblazing is not an easy role. It's not, it's not something that you can just get up and decide you're no longer going to be a trailblazer. You're no longer going to, going to do what you are called to do. Because what I'm called to do and what I'm called to do are two separate things. And I had children who depended on me. Why am I sharing this with you? I'm sharing this with you to say that whatever you've been through this year, no matter how difficult it is, you have to push through. But you have to learn lessons from it and make a new start for next year and start putting in place the things that are needed and necessary to, to function, to, to change, to, to review, to make sure the same mistakes are not, are not made. I have been single for a whole year. And in that time, which I know accept I probably needed. I went on a journey of self-discovery. I fell in love with myself all over again. I was laughing more. I, I became one of the happiest, or I am at one of the happiest points in my life I have ever been. Now, I'm not saying marriages are not great, don't get me wrong. But when you are put in a place where you have to make a courageous decision that you know is gonna impact not just yourself, but others, then you have to make hard decisions, make hard choices, and push through the pain. When I started catching my wind was when my life was turned upside down. And I turned that pain, I turned that sorrow, I turned that heartache that I felt last year when my husband walked out on me into my motivation. That's what I've been giving to you. All of that I've been giving to you has been my pain. What pain do you need to turn today into motivation? Because sometimes the pain is so passionate that the, the drive it gives you to succeed is amazing. I want to talk to somebody who's watching this today. That if you have a pain that you're dealing with, then I know for sure that I might be able to help you. I might be able to help you push through that pain and show you some of the strategies I used. You see, my pain might not be your pain, but pain is pain anyway. I have an open session for five people before the end of the year to come and talk to me about how I can help you push through the pain of 2015 into 2016. And change that story. You see, I rewrote that story of last year. And the success I will have by using that pain as a motivation is something that I'm sure my husband will see and think what happened. I have nothing against him. He's a father, he's a father for my child. And I love him as a person. And I've forgiven him. 
But I want to say to you, pushing through pain may sometimes mean taking a step back and learning to forgive. If you have a pain point that you need to talk about today, why not get in touch? The pain of your business failing, the pain of your marriage going bad, the pain of your children hurting you, whatever the pain. My email is info at avabrown.org. But share this with somebody who may need to hear this message. I have come through the other side and I'm a trailblazer again and I'm happy and laughing and I'm, I'm in love with myself. So I want to say to you, keep pushing through the pain and turn that pain into motivation. Take care and I'll see you on the other side.